time. Can I teach you yep. Oh. What are you doing? Um, helping the girls with their painting. It's of the Victorian times. They wore funny dresses and spoke proper. I want to help. Hey, not so fast. You're next on the rotor. But I'm sick. <coughs> you knew the rules. Everyone has to pull their weight. Come on. Are you going to help me or not? No chance. We did it yesterday. I'll give you 50p. I want to do this. Floss! Floss. What'd you do that for? Cos I hate all of you. <sighs> Gonna have to start again. Matron catches you sleeping, you'll be in trouble. Who are you? Petty Feather. Where am I? You're in the Foundling Hospital. Why are you in fancy dress? We all wear it. I wouldn't call it fancy. It's horrible. It's scratchy. You'll get used to it. What's your borrowed name? It's Floss. And I haven't borrowed it from anyone. Where are you going? I have to call Mike. But the boy's in the other part of the hospital and we're not allowed to shout. I meant on his mobile, dummy. What's a mobile? You George people play games, listen to music. Oh, like hymns, you mean? You're weird. Well, you can't just come and go to please because there are strict rules around here. So if I were you, I would start scrubbing this floor before Matron comes and inspects it. You can't tell me what to do. I'm just trying to help you. But I don't need your help! <laughs> New girl. She's got red hair, just like feather. And red means trouble. Who are you? I'm Sheila, and I'm in charge around here. Says who? Says me. Tell us what you've done. You'd make a terrible servant. I don't want to be a servant. What do you want to be? Prime Minister. <laughs> You're a girl. So, girls can do anything. Fly planes, invent stuff. And I want to go to the moon. It's never going to happen. If I cannot see my face in that floor, there will be trouble. I want a toffee by the end of the day. Understood? Look at all this water. It wasn't my fault. And where is your bonnet? None of your business. You insolent child. Right, you're coming with me. Get off! Ow! <gasps> Do you know what we do with wildcats? Hmm? We put them straight into the tench. That's what we do. I took her on it. I might have known you'd have your hand in this feather. Run! You come back here! Here. Take this just in case Matron finds you. Why are you being so nice to me? You're one of us, and we look after each other. But I was horrible to you. Well, friends are the only thing we've got in this place, and if I didn't have mine, I don't know what I'd do. What about you? You must have friends of your own. I suppose. Feather! Well, look after them, because they're the only family that you've got. You come back here! What will happen to you? I think I haven't done a hundred times before. Thank you. Friends forever.
What do you want? I'll do this for you. I'm sorry I ruined your picture. Well, wow, Floss. Did you copy this from a book? I've been there. <laughs> yeah, of course you have. Who's the girl with the red hair? Hurt your father. And who's she? She's my friend. Mm. <laughs>